So I found something interesting I want to catch before I load the next episode. That reminds me, I need to figure out what I want to show. Okay. This! Didn't even know that showed up. I've never just sat and waited before I kept clicking. Anyway, so let's continue our game. And we were gonna talk to the lady. But also, I noticed when I was getting ready to quit last time, we're almost done with chapter three already. So, uh, there's that. Uh, I had to check my my time again just to make sure because I didn't expect that and that caught me off guard. So I didn't did everything ready to go. So let's talk to I forget her name already. Hello. Hi there. Hi. I'm very curious about Kano. Wasn't he a world-renowned illusionist? He sure was. Karno was in his prime in the 1880s and 90s. He traveled all over the world with an extravagant magic show. Uh, we probably wouldn't be very impressed by it today, but back then they sure were. But I've heard that his magic acts tend to be a bit on the darker side. Yes, I've had that impression. But do you know what he was like as a man? He was very secretive. I don't think anybody really knew Carno, not even his wives. That brings up another good question. Exactly how many wives did he have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. He was married five times, I think. All of them from the theater circuit. Most of them were in his magic show. Why so many? What happened to them? Goodness, you are full of questions, aren't you? Well, let me see. Two or three of them died, and as for the others, uh, I don't know. One thing about Carno, though, that has never been proven or disproven. It is rumored he was into the black arts. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yes, isn't it? Well, thanks for your time. Sure, you're welcome. Mm, very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yes. She still has more. Sheesh. Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello. Sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering, do you know if Carno had a child? Yes, he had a little girl, I think. Something happened to her, but I can't remember what. Why? Oh, that's okay. I was just wondering. All right. Have a nice day. Me too. That would explain the whole kid room thing up in the second floor, third floor, eighth floor. Excuse me, Lou. Hello, Adrian. Lou, that's what it was. Well, I've been thinking about Carno. Do you know how he died? I don't know the details. But one night, Carno and his wife Marie had a violent argument, after which they both lay dead. The police found them the next morning. That was in the late 1890s. Well, where is Carno now? I think he's buried in a tomb somewhere on your property, along with Marie. Now that's a scary thought. Oh, he can't harm you now. Unless, of course, you believe in ghosts. Well, I don't. Carno's dead and gone. Of course, dear, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Lou. She is really... Well, don't mention it. <clears throat> ...loud. At people, for no reason. I can still talk to her? Hold... Was this something I'm supposed to do, like, throughout the rest of the game, and I'm just doing it all at once? <laughs> Oh no, are we done? Are we done, finally? Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no, thanks. Just looking around. All right, we're done. Let me know if you need me. Okay. I think we're going to head back to the house first. And... 
give the drain cleaner to Don George, George Don Bob, whatever his name is. And from there... Oh, maybe take a look around the house, or maybe come back here. I don't know, I just feel like we need to go ahead and get that out of the way first. So he's not, like, mad at us or something. Like, I don't know if there's bad endings. <laughs> if we don't get it to him, it's going to be the bad ending. I just figure there's not a lot. We saw there's not a lot to the chapter, so... I'm pretty sure there's not a ton to discover. Huh. Okay. Why for that open? Um... I assume the chapter won't... Should I save it? I'll save it here, just in case. <laughs> um, just in case... Oh, I guess that's the reason why oh, my brain's going a million different things at once. Just in case we taking this back to him does cause the game to skip forward, I'll put the checkpoint there and then I'll reload it and then go in there first. So let's go upstairs and... Also, the hand, whenever you click, the hand goes straight to the skip button, which makes me like, oh, I'm going to skip it for no reason. Not that we need to see every... Oh, yeah, there he is. He's in here. Oh, do we have to click on the... Oh. Done. Not the skip. All right, let me... Oh yeah, we didn't we didn't look at it. A bottle of sulfuric acid. A bottle of sulfuric acid. Nope, nothing. Making sure I can't click on anything now on any of them. Uh, do we click it on the door? Oh, well we can't. Maybe we do have to go down there first. Then figured we could just give him the drain cleaner and be done with it. Oh, this is the the music. I don't even know if you guys can hear that. It's kind of low, but or it's low to me. What's that music? What is that music? Age. Okay, let's skip. There's nothing going on there. Let's go and see why that's open. Maybe Don's in there and we can throw the sulfuric acid at him. He'd be like, oh, I'm my face, sulfuric acid, or what a word, and stuff like that. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a carriage. With a wheel loose. Hello? Somebody in here? <laughs> what is that? That's going on up there. I don't want to see some transient up there doing no-no things. We can click this. Or that. We can click that. We can click like three different parts of this thing and we can click over here. Um, let's click over here first. Hello? 
Well, it's time to get the hammer out and start hitting things. Or better yet, it's time to get the poker out and to poke things. So I'm assuming we have to click this thing, whatever this thing does. Well, that's a winch. I get that, or a pulley. Or she's just going to stare at it every time. Fair enough. Um... Is that still going to look... Oh, there's a ladder! We're going to need that ladder. For that that gap in the trees. Um, can we poker the ladder? No. I was just joking with the hammering stuff. Um, so now can we move it? No. Yes? No. Maybe. How... How do we... Can I click up here then, and then that'll swing it? Like, I get a feeling she's supposed to swing it around, drop, pick up, but... Trying to get the actions to do so... That's the kicker. Damn, nothing I can use. Do I sulfuric acid something? Um... Right. Because there's something going on up there, and we need the ladder. So... Do we... Do we leave? Do we... We need to f flip that around. Because I'm a... That's what it looks like. It looks like it flips from <coughs> left to right. And... Nope. Hmm. Okay, I wonder if we're just supposed to see this. For now. Oh, oh, can we look at something else? Is there another view? Can we go over here? Maybe we can go here in that way, so I'm wondering if... Aha! Well, someone's been here. Why is someone camping out here? Scare me like that. Scare you? I'm just trying to keep you on your toes, Adrian. You never know who will be sneaking around this place. Sneaking around like you? Not me, Adrian. Can't you see? We're not alone on this island. They're probably just some vagrants. I doubt they're even here anymore. They better not be. Because if I catch their asses around here... Don, don't. Come on, honey. They're probably gone. You know, we always have our trusty watch cat's pads. Yeah, right. He's a so... He's so angry. Is he just going to be kicking stuff? Do I give him the drain cleaner now? Okay. Can I hit... I got work to do. And I don't want you hanging around out here. I want you to stay up at the house. Oh. Was I... Did I run out of time to give him the drain cleaner? Was I supposed to watch him kick something around? Did I screw something up? Oops. Um... Well, then there's that still going on. Because I, I could have... Would I have thrown the drain cleaner on his face? Well, now that we know that there's... Somebody there, now can I flip this around? No. 
All right then. Unless I'm supposed to click something while the video's going. I don't. Let's see. Nope. All right. Now I wonder if Don will show back up and kick things around. It doesn't look like anything was really kicked around. I can't. So maybe that was just a clue to have him show back up in the house. Or was I supposed to give him his drain cleaner? <laughs> I'm so worried about the drain cleaner! Let's... Okay. Well, now I don't know if there's going to be a scene for anything. Let's go upstairs. Um, did I miss the opportunity to give him the drain cleaner? Damn it, it's locked. What do you want? I'm busy. I want to give you the drain cleaner. Come on, Don. Here's the drain cleaner you requested. Jeez. Yeah. Thanks. Honey, are you feeling all right? Is your head still hurt? Adrian, leave me alone. I'm fine. Well, how about a little dinner? You could come downstairs and help me. We could make a little pasta. Maybe some salad, a little vino. Yeah, it sounds great. Call me when it's ready. What a jackass. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was that was the chapter. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I guess we'll continue. To, even though I can't get the maybe I get the ladder next chapter. I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, we good. Let's let's keep going. Nice day for a picnic, don't you think, honey? Yeah, I guess so. So good to get you out of that dark room. Yes, that. Well, I've got work to do, Adrian. We're not finished yet. Don, it can wait. You need to take some time out to relax. You're so stressed out. I've got publishing deadlines. Can you understand that? You see, I don't get the same ass kissing royal treatment your publisher gives you. Shh. Don. How can you say that? I certainly do understand deadly. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. It's a headache, that's all. But I'm gonna go lie down. Maybe you were right. Maybe I need some rest. And so apparently the guy's still being an asshole. Jack, I, I mean, uh, you know, butthead. <laughs> the, guy, the guy at least doesn't know how to act, like, as a good guy. You know, he's kind of cheesy. But as, as a butthead, he's really good. <laughs> and so we're on a new new day. And we ha there's a guy behind this, I'm assuming. And we don't... I need to... There. <laughs> Fix the inventory. Whew. Um, let's see who's behind the tree. 
This isn't the play game. This isn't the play. This... This is... Nope. This isn't the play. Nope. You don't... Nope. <clears throat> just... Just a big... Nope. Game. Also, I th I think this came this came out probably like a a little bit after Return to Zork, and I'm kind of, the, the, the music composer sounds the same. I'm tempted to I'm gonna look it up real quick and see if they have the same music composer. G give, give give me a second. So Return to Zork was '93 and this was '95. No, they have two different composers, but they sound really close. And I guess we'll follow the guy. Wait, was it this way? Did he go through? Well, I'm guessing we have to go to the, the little shed thing here. Barn. Shed thing. Yes, it's a shed thing. Hurry! Are we gonna get captured and gypsy tortured? Oh, oh come on, you gotta help Ma! Hey! Oh, oh no. Ma, I, I went and got that lady. Well, get her up here then. I'm stuck. Help! Somebody help me! Oh, so, uh. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cyrus, what happened? She fell. Why, 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 why through the floor? I didn't think it was a good idea. I, I didn't want to do it. Do what? I lived up there with that thing. The police? Yeah. Why would you want to do that? Help! This hurts! <laughs> oh, she wanted to go up there. To, uh, to, to, to get the ladder. But I, I, didn't think, I didn't think she should. You, you gotta help her. <laughs> so, this isn't the play game. This moderately hilarious in my quote unquote horror <laughs> FMV game. Uh... Cyrus? Huh? Why don't you go up and get her? Because cause I'm too big. I, I, I break right through the floor. Yeah, I guess you're right. We can keep clicking on it. All right, let's go again. Help! I'm stuck. Get me down. Oh God, what can I do about this? You, you gotta help get her down. Help me, somebody! Help! <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> help! Help! Get that lady up here. Lady Mazel stuck up there. Help me! <laughs> okay, okay. You gotta help get her down. I'm help! coming. I'm coming. I'm uh, lady, help Ma! Help! This hurts! Uh, all lady, right. Ma has all okay, wow. This... She, she needs help. Can we... Help me. Oh, okay. But please do something. 
Okay, then now this is stretching out a little too much. There we go. We're gonna use the pulley to get her out. <laughs> Are we gonna talk to her for? <laughs> Can we talk to her? <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. Okay, I'm gonna pull hard now. Oh, okay. Now push. I'm gonna pull. All right, well, we're going to grab the pitchfork. Help! Help me! Oh, we're going to use the pitchfork to grab this. Fair enough. Oh, I thought you were going to put it in your pocket. You need to be like a long pitchfork. Comedy. <laughs> okay, Cyrus, now pull slowly. Remember your mother's attached to it. Oh, Baby Cyrus. Easy. Easy, Cyrus. Okay, stop, stop. Name's Harriet. Harriet Hockaday. Blows my son Cyrus. I swear that boy can't do anything right. He'd lose his head if it wasn't screwed on tight. Cyrus, you just wait till I get my hands on you. The 90s, folks. The 90s. Oh, can we pick this? No. Okay. We can take stuff anyway. It's down here. Ah! A piece of fabric. Because that'll be important? Question mark? Or is that, are we getting the nail? We need the hammer.
So we didn't need the... Oh, we still have the hammer in my inventory. A nail. A bent, rusty nail. We can give someone tetanus. Oh, I didn't spin it around. Is there anything interesting about the nail? Anything to click on about the nail? Nope. So we've got a nail, and I'm sure we're going to have to have a lot of discussion with Harriet and Cyrus. So when we come back, we'll talk to that dynamic duo. And we'll uh, see how that's going to go. Let's see how far we are into Chapter 3 already. We're... Ha Am I skipping things? Like, is there... Should I just be wandering through the house and stuff? Looking at things? Like, am I missing flavor stuff? Because now we're already more than halfway through chapter four and all we did was rescue a lady and grab a nail. This game's a lot shorter than I thought then. <laughs> All right, well, when we come back, we'll talk to <coughs> Cyrus and Harriet. Was that her name? Can't remember. And she just said it. I was too, I was too busy mesmerized by their char characters. Um, so, yeah, when we come back, we'll talk to them. Till then, y'all take care. And, of course, have a good one. <laughs>